Hey everybody, welcome to my Terminator Dark Fate movie review. So, if I had to describe this movie in one word, now bear with me and hear me out. It's actually enjoyable. I enjoyed it. If you look at it as a self-contained movie, which it is not, because it does make references to other movies, um, it was enjoyable. There are a couple problems with this movie. I'm going to go into spoilers, okay? Um, okay, so spoilers. If you haven't seen the movie, um, go watch another review. But they killed John Connor right at the beginning. <sighs> it didn't bother me at first when I was watching the movie, but then the more I thought about it, I was like... So all that stuff in Terminator 2 and with Sarah Connor was useless. It was pointless. The John Connor character is gone. That's one. Number two is um, there was this whole scene with the. Th this is almost a nitpick, but it's it it is an issue. And Angry Joe brought this up on his channel as well. Is that there, there was this general who uh, gives them a weapon at some point. I thought that was Dyson's kid, and it turns out it was a random nobody. Why would this military officer commit treason, high treason, with uh, this? Wanted fugitive slash terrorist Sarah Connor. Um, I, I don't know. It was a nobody, and it just... The thing got destroyed anyways, and it didn't make sense. Now, uh, the other major, major issue is I do not buy a 5 foot tall, 100 pound girl being any type of combat leader whatsoever. I just do not buy it. Not in a combat situation like that. How did she go in and whoop everybody? Can she? How's she gonna whoop a full-grown adult male? She's five feet, hundred pounds. It just doesn't happen. It's it's absurd. If she was an augmented, because now there's augmented humans, we understand it. I thought that was cool. Uh, Mackenzie Davis, I believe her name was. She was incredible in the movie. I really liked her, and her body is rocking. I don't know how tall she is, or if she's tall, or if everyone else is short. But she looked really tall in this movie. She is in great shape, and she was awesome. I, now, I buy it with her because she's an augmented human. She's got, like, uh, she's, like, kind of a cyborg. Yeah, she's part human, part machine, um, which I thought was cool. Um, I liked Arnold in the movie. Um... He was good. I liked. Uh, I really liked uh, Sarah Connor's introduction. There, there were a lot of things this trailer gave away. I don't think they should have given away when they go see Arnold. I, I don't think they should have given away anything with Sarah Connor. The, the trailer gave away too much. Um, on the Star Strider scale, I'll give this movie a fifty-five. Um. It's better than Genesis, and it's better than um, Salvation, and it's better than T3. But that's not really saying much. I, actually, I didn't hate T3. Um, I was always disappointed that Edward, Edward Furlong wasn't in T3. Um, that being said, I really like the action. I was... Uh, I like the guy... Um, not Diego Luna, I'm sorry, but the guy, last name Luna... He was good as that uh, that alternate Terminator. So there's no more Cyberdyne. This is like uh, it's called Legion now, which which is fine because it changes the future. Um, they're really messing with the lore here. Um, but you know, now that you think of it, when you have time travel, you can do all sorts of wacky things now, right? You can send one back to the cowboy times because now we know that Cyberdyne sent a, sent a bunch of Terminators to different points in time. They could have tried to kill John Connor's great 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 grandfather in cowboy times. So I mean, I don't know how far back they're gonna go. Um, in this case, they came back from 2042. Um, so I can work with that. I guess we gotta let those characters go and move on. It is what it is. But I just don't buy that that little girl is any type of military leader. When she walked in there looking like a, a middle school kid, and, oh, follow me. I'm like, what? Those big-ass dudes are following you. Seriously, I don't buy it. 
do not buy it and that was my biggest problem with the movie um, it's, it's just not it, it's in what reality can that happen but anyways that being said yeah I, I, I'm gonna give this 55 on the Star Strider scale did I already give my score I give it 55 um, I don't know if you're not a big if you're a big Terminator fan you probably already saw this movie uh I would say if you're not a big movie person, save your money. Don't go see this one. Don't let this be your one or your one of the three if you only go you know, two or three times a year. I enjoyed it. I had a good time because the action set pieces were good. My biggest problems were not really even John Connor. It was buying that this little tiny girl is a military, com is a combat commander. And the... Uh, and the... Um, who was that random dude with the EMPs? I don't even think we really even needed that. But it seemed like it was already intertwined with... You could have cut it out, but it seemed like some of it was intertwined already. And they were unable to remove it because of that. Um, because you could have done without that scene. If you watch the movie, you'll know. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Okay, bye.